while since I've had the chance to uh, make one of these videos. I have had, uh, I haven't been well for the last week, week and a half, so I've put it off. But I have been playing games, um, and I have picked up quite a few. And out of all of them, it's this one, the the novelist from Kent Hudson, that has stood out the most for me. Um, you are this unseen entity uh, living in a house uh, that has been rented by a family, the Kaplan family. Um, and they are Dan, Linda and Tommy. Now, as this entity, you explore every room. You see what the family's getting up to. Um, and you try your best to uh, influence their lives, hopefully for the better. Um, and you, you work your influence through Dan, um, the father. Now, uh, Dan is a writer and he's struggling to uh, come up with... Uh, an, an idea for a second novel or work on a second novel. Um, Linda, his wife, their relationship is, um, it's, I suppose it's, it's frayed. Um, and their son, Tommy, has been recently, uh, I suppose, diagnosed with learning difficulties. And he's finding it hard to make friends that he's getting bullied quite a lot in school. So Dan has a lot on his plate. Um, you know, he has to work to support his family. But he has to work on his marriage and he has to be there for his son um, so it's it's all down to you now the game offers two modes you can play in stealth or you can play in story now stealth allows you uh, I suppose it adds a little extra uh, to the game it adds a bit of a challenge in that you can't be seen by the family um, if you get caught you close off um, their, influ their path of influence um, and if Dan sees you the, you the whole game has to you know you have to restart that chapter uh, where a story basically just allows you to explore the house um, without that I suppose the pressure of that so we're going to we'll kick that off so um, and I've played the game a few times and the controls are extremely simple you're not going to be doing uh, you know uh, cartwheels and backflips off the side of a cliff while firing a bazooka and you know um, you know d d defusing a bomb um, you hop from light fixture to light fixture you may leave uh, the, pos uh, the possession of these lights um, you can read thoughts and it's all you know keyboard and mouse looking around this is this is what you see uh, everywhere um, this is this is how you function um, and like I said you explore the house um, you possess light fixtures and if you find that the family are uh, paying too much attention, you have the ability to flicker in stealth mode, and that draws their attention to a specific area of the house, um, allowing you to move freely again. Um, so this, you, your, oh, I suppose your objective is to listen. Things are taking a little longer than expected. I feel your objective is to read these, um, read and find these clues, um, these notes, um, journals, um, pictures, paintings. Um, post-its, anything that can, you know, give you an indication of what it is the family needs. You're even able to read their thoughts, and that's Linda. Um, she's very focused on her art, but she's also very concerned about her relationship with Dan. Um, actually, this kid draws better than I do. Um, I don't know if Kent Hudson um, has a family and he got a son to draw these, but... Um, I'll show you some of my latest artwork in Microsoft Paint. Um, it's such a crazy thought, the three of us all alone in this house. And th that's pretty much the game summed up. You, you're, you're trying to do your best by this family. You're trying to um, balance your work and your life and your relationships. <laughs> um, How are things? And to do that, you use... Um, these notes um, and once you find the clues for each family member um, then it's you're able to well you, you're able to do it anyway regardless you're able to possess um, each character and explore their memories um, and that gives you an even better idea of we'll have to find out are there any other kids it gives you, you know, a better indication of what it is that they want or what it is that they need. Um, and in the case of Tommy, it's spending time with his father. Um, I mean, you can see that in his artwork. 
Um, and then, now that we've uncovered all those memories, we should... Yeah, there we go. So you can see now in highlighted blue that he wants to just spend time with his father. He wants to play some of this board game. Um, with Linda, again, it's spending time with her husband. But, you know, Dan hasn't got... Dan hasn't got, you know, every, you know, 48 hours in one day kind of a thing. He has, he has to work. Um, you know, he has to make, uh, he has to make money to support the family. Um, but you can't neglect these relationships either. And I think that's what, um, I think that's what Hudson was trying to get at, um, in the game. Uh, you're not, um, you're not Superman, you know, you don't have uh, every power I'm a road into town. Um, going. Um, you have to try, you have to try your best um, to do right by everyone, but you're not going to be able to please everyone all of the time. Um, and it's just trying to make the right choices, and this is what we've done. So we've uncovered that, you know, Linda wants to spend time with her husband, perhaps a bottle of wine. Um, to relax. Tommy wants to spend time with his dad over a board game and Dan just wants to work. He, he, he wants to get this idea out of his head and onto paper. Um, and on my first playthrough, I picked Dan. Um, and once you do that, once you make your initial choice for this chapter, it goes to night time and you're afforded um, a compromise and you can choose okay, maybe I won't spend all my time with Linda, but I'll do my best by her. I'll have one glass of wine, or I'll be able to spend some time with Tommy. Um, and on each playthrough I've had, and this isn't my first attempt at recording this, uh, I always, and it's not my first time playing the game either, um, I always start uh, with Dan focusing on his work, and then um, I didn't find out that Linda wanted wine. Damn it! Um, if I had been paying attention, I would have realised that um, Linda was quite eager to, um, you know, share a glass of wine with her husband. Um, so instead, I'm going to have to pick Tommy, the kid who draws better than I do. Um, and actually, there's something else. Uh, you saw me read another journal downstairs. Um, at during the night phase, you un uncover clues as to what it is you are yourself, um, and you begin to realize that you know. They aren't the first people to come to this house, or to see or experience this strange phenomenon. Um, this is my first time picking top. I feel kind of dirty doing this because you know, it's. Uh, I talked about this when I reviewed um, uh, The Walking Dead. I find it quite difficult to, uh, you know, if I go down a certain path, that's the path I, I think I would have taken anyway. If it was me, so I'm breaking from. I'm breaking from that, and it's quite difficult. Um, and there you go. This is how. And um, once you've made all your choices, this is what you see. You see your. Um, you see them unfold. Um, so Dan finds the notebook, this old notebook, and he realizes that he had this idea for a story a long time ago, and he's able to work again. Um, and that's you know that's fundamentally that's what the game is about. It's about uncovering these clues, uncovering these memories. Um, and using them to your, to the best of your ability to try and, you know, do right by everybody, do right by Dan, do right by Linda, do right by Tommy, but, um, I think Kent Hudson has done a marvellous job at showing us that it's not always possible, um, and that ne doesn't necessarily make you a bad guy, and that is my cat meowing in the background. Um, it's... It's not possible, um, you know, it's not possible to do right by everyone. Um, even though you want to, even though you try to, um, you can't, um, you can't get everything right. Um, and ultimately you have to try and focus, try to put your focus wherever uh, you think it's needed most. Um, so, while the game, while the game might not be, um, you know, the most action-oriented or have the most complex controls. It, it's a fantastic story. It, it's, a, it's not even a story, it's an, it's an experience. Um, 
it's you know it's something that you um, that you have to try and get your head around and it gets it gets the, this game gets to you um, you want you don't want to be uh, the guy who lets his wife down you don't want to be the guy who puts his work ahead of his family um, but you're not, like you you find as the game goes on that it's not always easy um, to juggle work and home and uh, wife and kids and publishers and agents um, and I think I think that's what Hudson wanted us um, to re- I suppose not realize but to remember that um, real life isn't about who's the good guy and who's the bad guy real life is about just trying to be good trying to do the right thing um, of course this game appeals to the other side of me and it's the darker side that has this kind of weird fantasy about breaking into someone's house and you know reading their journals uh, looking at you know through their uh, their cupboards and stuff that kind of weird thick twisted stalker element that we all have I hope um, in the back of our heads because that, that that's something I quite enjoyed as well and uh, as a kid I used to be you know um, I used to be that one that looked for my brother's journal um, and read it and then you know know all his secrets and then lord it over him um, so seriously the kid's more talented than I am it's not even funny um, I don't um, I don't expect I don't think I don't expect everyone will like this game I don't expect everyone um, to enjoy the way that the game works the gameplay elements of it but if you are looking for a fantastic story if you are looking for um, characters that feels you know feel almost lifelike um, then the novelist is something you have to pick up. It's something you have to play. Uh, you have to experience this game for yourself. Um, you have to know the torment that I've been going through, um, trying to be a good husband and father. Um, you know, <laughs> probably should focus on real life as well. But um, for now, the novelist—the novelist is a perfect distraction.